It is October 1st, and that means it is the first day of Dysautonomia Awareness Month. Dysautonomia can be a life-altering illness for some people. It definitely was for me. Sunday morning everyone. I have just done my pills, breathing treatments, I stripped the bed because we're doing laundry today, hooked up to my infusion, got my feeding tube going, so I'm gonna head downstairs to take care of the dog. And on our way down you will see a bunch of unpacked boxes that were full of medical supplies, port care stuff, infusion gear, feeding tube formula, lots of feeding tube formula. Yeah, these are gotta be thrown out later today. Right, taking a break on my way down the stairs, but I was just laughing a bit last night when we got the delivery because sometimes it feels like a constant cycle of haha, I just unpacked all of my medical supplies and then we get a knock on the door and there's another delivery, so keeping everything organized can be a bit tedious and a little difficult at times, but I'd say we got a good system established. Breakfast for Hippo. It's been... Namaste. Okay. And Harlow gets a bone. Okay. Good girl. Harlow is at prep day. It is. We are prepping her raw meals for the week. First we're starting with this chunk of red meat. And distribute it into 14 bags which will last her a week. Red meat is done and now I'm doing the lamb and I'm actually separating the bone from the shanks because I get these lamb shanks and the bone is in the meat. A lot of people just give their dog the bone in the meat and it's fine. I tried that with Harlow and she does not take the time to think about what she's eating. She just scarfs it all down. Hence why I have to get a slow feeder bowl to slow down her eating. What I prefer to do is separate the bones and give her the bone outside like I did earlier because then she eats it very carefully and slowly and it's much safer. Now I'm just doing the turkey for Harlow and after that we're gonna do the ground beef. And these are the lamb bones I'm gonna put in the freezer. While I finished most of the prep, I did the ground beef and then the organs. We are missing her chicken breast. We gotta get that from Sam's Club, hoping Judd can take me when he gets home, maybe my mom but if we don't get it today, we do have our own chicken breast she can use, so she will not starve. Anyways, it is October 1st, and that means it is the first day of Dysautonomia Awareness Month. Now, I know October is the awareness month for lots of things, but since I am personally impacted by Dysautonomia, I thought I could give y'all some interesting insight and spread awareness. Dysautonomia is autonomic nervous system dysfunction. Your ANS, or autonomic nervous system, is responsible for bodily functions that we do not think of consciously, such as breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, blood flow, and so on. When your ANS doesn't function properly, it can lead to a slew of debilitating symptoms. But of course, it affects everybody very differently, and there's a lot of different types of dysautonomia. My specific type is called POTS, or Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. It has to do with heart rate increase upon postural changes. Basically, my blood flow is not regulated properly, and to compensate for that, my ANS makes my heart beat very quickly. So blood flow is not efficient. It leads to things like fainting, extreme lethargy and fatigue, shortness of breath, chest pain, and so much more. I was diagnosed with a tilt table test, which is where you lay flat on a table and then the doctors bring you upright while monitoring your vitals. Currently, there is no cure for POTS, but lifestyle changes and treatments can help. Lifestyle changes include a high sodium diet, a lot of hydration, and exercise. Although for me personally, exercise will only help to a certain extent. The biggest difference being made for me is doing my infusions three times a week because it increases my blood volume. I struggle with hypovolemia due to my POTS, and if you want to learn more about my infusions, you can watch my infusion video. I also take oral medications that help. 
Harlow, of course, helps me with my POTS as well. She provides counterbalance when I'm dizzy, she alerts to my syncope episodes 10 to 15 minutes before they happen, and she retrieves items for me when I'm too dizzy or off balance to get them myself. And if you want to learn more about her task work, you can watch my Harlow video. I have another condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It is a connective tissue disease, and it's a huge contributing factor in my dysautonomia. If you want to learn about my EDS and how it contributes to my POTS, and if you want to learn more about my POTS as well, I highly recommend watching both of those sections in my chronic illness video, and you can find all of the videos I mentioned in the description. Dysautonomia can be a life-altering illness for some people. It definitely was for me. When I first began seeing symptoms, I was 15 years old and practicing martial arts six days a week. I was even an instructor. I was extremely fit and active. And then I began fainting and having all the classic symptoms of POTS. It took us five years to get a diagnosis. And within that time, I had to stop doing activities I love. I had to pull out of high school and go on hospital homebound schooling. It was a very drastic change. We knew something was wrong, but nobody could quite figure it out. But we didn't stop searching for answers. And finally, we got the testing we needed, we got the answers we needed, we got the help we needed, and now we are equipped to handle my POTS as best as we can. Yes, my life is different, but that doesn't mean it's worse. We are making the best of our situation, and now that we have all of the knowledge of my dysautonomia, we have the tools we need to keep moving forward. One of the reasons I share my story is to help others who may be struggling but don't yet have the answers they need. So the more I share, the more I talk, the more videos I put up, and the more of you who watch, the more awareness gets out there. So thank you for helping me do what I do. Y'all are contributing to our cause of spreading awareness. So one thing started beeping, and, and then another, another thing, thing started beeping. Okay. By the way, I'm home. Yeah, Jen got home and I was getting ready to go out and I was readjusting stuff. Then everything decided to go off. It's just going crazy. What's going on? <laughs> Madness. Alright, got the beeping under control and now we are off to the shops to run some errands. Judd is going to return some things at Target and then we're off to our next stop. Right, Hippo? Where's he gone? <laughs> Should return our stuff, and I know, shocking that we would return something to Target, but it was clothes I didn't need. Oh. It was too big for me. Anyways, we are in Bed Bath & Beyond looking for a new tablecloth, because like I said, the red one does not match the color scheme I'm doing in our dining room. So we're here, just looking around. What's the matter, babe? Well, we have a table runner that's really nice, and I don't know which one it'll look better with. There's a lot of choices. So it's going to be one of these tablecloths with one of these placemats. And I like them all, I just don't know which one would hmm. me in my face. Be better. <coughs> decisions, decisions. No. What do you think, Hippo? You think anything? What? You think you can spin it like a pizza dough? That's not happening. <laughs> Your skills are already lacking, babe. <laughs> Do it. With pizza dough, not a place of that. This is close enough. Oh, I got it a little bit. I was excited about it. Ooh. I'll just toss it like that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you're you're causing a scene. You're causing a scene. <laughs> oh, we don't fit. We fit. We don't. We fit. Oh my. Where's the dog? She's, She's supposed to be right next. She go behind us. Oh good dog. She did it. We did fit. Got our table settings. It started raining by the shops and I got wet. I do not like getting wet in the rain. But then we came to Menchie's on the way home. So I'm really excited about that. We're gonna get some frozen yogurt and then go back home. Judd, are you excited for frozen yogurt? I'm not getting anything. I know, I've recently in the past few months learned that Judd does not actually like frozen yogurt and I was shocked, shocked I tell you. Ice cream is better. I love Menchie's though. They go. Yeah, they're open. They're open for me. <laughs> so he is getting something. Oh, God. <laughs> How's the mud slide pie? Oh, it's coffee. Please. Oh, it's coffee? No, thank you. What about the fudge 
chocolate sorbet. That's the one I like. Chips, chocolate. It's like chocolatey chocolate stuff. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Tell me when to stop first. Much is going on there. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Probably a lot, but. That's for you. You eat a lot. <laughs> I can't actually see what is going on. Well, you got just as much as I did, so. Oh, okay, that's enough. <laughs> now we gotta get Carlos vanilla. And John is better at portion control. Just a tiny bit. There we go. Carlo, your pup cup. She can have some strawberries. What do you put in yours? Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna put whipped cream? You've never put that before. Coming from the guy who wasn't gonna get anything. Okay. I like Oreos. Um, where are the turtles? Hmm, well, this doesn't look like they have any turtles. They don't have turtles, but I always get turtles. I need the turtles. Where are the turtles? No, your turtles just for you. They found some for me. That was so nice of them. Mine is tasty. Judd, I'm glad you're enjoying some menchies. This is the way it should be. And Harla's being very good. When we're done, we're going to give her her little pup cup. I enjoyed her yogurt date. I think this has to be her favorite treat because she literally gets so excited over it. Harlow. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Slow down, pooch. <coughs> Gross. Otheus. You were sick too, <coughs> mister. Yeah, but I was only sick for two days. Oh, hush. Your healthy immune system. <laughs> She's so enthusiastic about it. It's on her nose. <laughs> I can get the fruits. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's like feeding a T-Rex, right? <laughs> okay. Is it done? Yeah. Oh, there's still some fruit. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's psycho. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Are we good? A little bit left. Yup, she can tell. <laughs> I told y'all. She gets so excited. This has to be her favorite treat. Oh my God, Harlow, get it. You got it. You got it. The whole time we're inside Menchie, she's kind of looking at me like, is it time? Is it time? Is it my time? <laughs> You're so good. We treat you because you work so hard and we love you so much. You're adorable. <laughs> Harlow, I did not put the old tablecloth on the floor for you to lay on it and chew your toy. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, set up the new stuff and I don't know if I like it because I feel like the blue looks really nice, but the tablecloth and the table runner are too similar, like they're too light. So this is kind of you know, what it looks like all together. I don't know. Judd, you said you like it? I like it. I like gray and blue. But you don't think the tablecloth is too light? No. I don't know. I guess, like, if the table runner was a little darker, I would like that. I'm not sure. I'm going to... <clears throat> let it sit here I guess or maybe if the tablecloth was darker I don't know I'm so finicky I like it better than the red I will say that it <laughs> looks a lot better than the red I asked for my mother's input okay what do you think of the new stuff oh it looks very pretty you think it's good yes do you I think the it. table runner is too light like it matches the tablecloth too much well do you have another choice I could get another one. What kind of another one? 
Oh, I mean, I could like go online and find a darker table runner. It has what colors? Darker gray. Or do you think it looks nice? I think that one looks nice. You do? Mm -hmm. All right, I think it's just the change. I need to like leave it here and I'll get used to it. Changing things kind of takes a while for me to get used to it. So I think I like the dining room. It just takes me a while to get used to changes, which is totally fine, but it still serves its function as a table. And if you're wondering what the heck all that noise is, it's those two over there. We're celebrating. What are you celebrating? The Buccaneers waiting the Giants! Oh, he's watching football. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, an update on my camera. Remember, this is not the camera I usually film on. We bought it as a backup for my good camera. The G7X has made it to Canon. They are repairing it, and hopefully I will have it within a week. This is what Judd started. Because she's excited about the bugs. <laughs> Are you in the picture? I hope so. I'm excited to get our other camera back. Hopefully I soon. I think, well, in the photo. I think like this half of me is in the picture. I think we're good enough. We're, we're pretty good at it. We're probably just like staring at some blank spice on the wall. No. <laughs> anyway. My mom cooked us some pretty nice dinner. She made a salmon and asparagus, right? That was or really good. Beans. Yeah. It was asparagus. It was so good. It was tasty. And now we are off to bed. So we're just going to say good night. And thank you for joining us face. in my our hand. adventure. You can't see me. They can see you. I see you.